Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Bellin, and I'm uh, welcoming you to Speech 4450, or SCOM 4450, um, Rhetorical Theory and Criticism. And I apologize for not being able to meet with you today, but I'll see you on Wednesday. And what I wanted to do is basically just do the same thing via YouTube that I would normally do if I were introducing the class to you. Uh, we don't really spend a lot of time in the course on the first day. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just go over the syllabus. I'll try to explain as best I can what the class is about and what we'll be doing. Um, and then you can do the rest and we'll start uh, fresh on Wednesday. <clears throat> You're going to have access to this uh, syllabus. By the time you read this, it will be in the iCollege section for this course uh, and it'll be in a module named syllabus or something equally exciting. Um, so I'm not gonna read the whole thing to you. I'm just going to cover the highlights, things that I think you need to, to make sure you know as we go through that might, might not be completely obvious on first reading. Um, at the top here, we have my contact information. My office hours are uh, times that I can always be available, but please understand that uh, it's very rare for people to come see me in my office hours. And so I'm not always there um, physically in my office. I might be wandering around the building or having breakfast or lunch or going to the bathroom, you know, very exciting things. And um, if you don't let me know ahead of time that you're coming and when you're coming, I can't guarantee I'll be there. You know, so if you email me a day ahead of time and say, hey, I'm coming to your office hour, so, uh, you know, let's say it's, mo it's Monday, you should email me on Sunday and say, hey, planning to come to your office hours at 1015. I'll make absolutely sure that I'm there. Otherwise, I cannot guarantee that I'll be there just waiting for you and crying sad tears because of your absence. Um, this class is really a class uh, about... Um, analyzing text and learning to do things with text that we don't normally think about. It's a class that's focused on persuasion and focused on, focused on using different rhetorical tools and methods to understand text better, to understand all different kinds of human communication. And um, I've actually revamped the course quite a bit for this semester. And what I'm going to be doing is focusing primarily on teaching you how to do this. Um, in, in the past, when I've taught this class, I focused a lot more on theory, um, but this class is going to be focused on practice, and hopefully you'll see that as we go through. Um, you can read the course description and objectives for yourself. <clears throat> How to contact me, this is important. If you want to email me, make sure you include SCOM 4450 in the subject line, otherwise I could easily throw your email away. The other thing is, if you really want me to answer your email, then you need to say, please respond, because sometimes people give me these... Uh, you know, these emails that are kind of FYIs. They're like, hey, Dr. Bellin, I'm not going to be in class on Wednesday. And I don't know what to say to that. Like, congratulations, I don't know. Um, but please just tell me that you want me to respond if you want me to respond. I'm pretty responsive. Um, make sure you check your student email account pretty regularly. If I need to get in touch with you, that's how I'll do it. It's the only way that I can. So I know the Georgia State system is not particularly exciting, uh, but make sure that you check it on a regular basis the day before class. Um, deadline stuff you can read for yourself. Uh, same thing from Rules from on High. So let's talk about the course requirements. Um, there is no required textbook for this course. You're welcome. Um, I teach a lot of other classes where there are tremendously expensive textbooks, but the way that I'm teaching this class is not really a, a, a way that there's a textbook for. So what I'm doing is piecing together stuff from other books, various different books and articles that will form a, a functional textbook for us, but it's all going to be online. All the readings will be available on iCollege, uh, and so you don't have to buy a textbook, yay. Um, however, I do take attendance. Um, I take it as, not this week, but starting next week, at the end of every class, um, I will have you sign an attendance sheet and every time you do that, you will earn four points towards your final grade. Attendance is extra credit in this class. So instead of punishing you for not showing up, I'm going to reward you for showing up. Uh, now, if you don't show up to class, if you decide to take advantage of my attendance policy and just not come, you will fail. Um, you have to show up in class to do well in the course. There's no version of this online anywhere. Uh, so I'm sorry, but you do have to show up at class. On the other hand, I have a much nicer attendance policy than a lot of folks. Um, and you'll see in a minute how that all works. There are going to be quizzes in the class. They will be available online and they will not, will, they will not start this week. They will not start next week, but they'll be available online in the third week of class. Um, and I'll basically have a quiz up for every reading and you can do more than 10 of them if you feel like, but I will only, your grade will be based entirely on your 10 best scores. So you could do a quiz on every single reading if you felt like it, um, but I would only count the top 10. 
And, uh, hopefully that'll be pretty obvious stuff as we go in. And there will be deadlines um, that I give you for every one of those quizzes. All right, um, there will also be three homeworks uh, during the course of the semester. There'll be short writing assignments um, that, are very, uh, that are very specific in terms of their instruction. I'll give you a piece of text, I'll send you home with it, you'll have a week or more uh, to do it, and then you'll turn it back in. And I'll give you specific instruction sheets for all of that when the time is right. We will have a midterm and a final. Um, the, you can read that stuff for yourself. Uh, they will be, uh, the first one will be almost entirely fill in the blank and short answers. The final will be uh, some of that same kind of material, but it'll also be uh, at least one essay that I'll require you to write in class. Oh, by the way, this is a good time for me to say, you are totally allowed to have computers in the classroom. Um, and in fact, I will let you use computers for the final exam if you want to turn your essay in that way. Um, and uh, we'll talk about how that's going to work. Uh, if you do want to do that. I, I my Personally, my handwriting is terrible. So, um, you know, uh, I would want to type if I were you. And we'll, we'll talk about how that's going to work. I'll probably give you two sections of the final, one that you'll have to turn in bef you know, before you do the essay and one that uh, you'll turn in after the essay if, in fact, that's how you want to do things, if you want to use computers. Of course, you can still write by hand. That'll be fine. There's a couple of papers in this class. Um, Unlike a lot of versions of this class, I'm not making you write a huge paper. I'm making you write two smaller papers. Uh, they'll be somewhere in the range of, you know, five to seven pages, um, probably on the shorter range of that. Uh, and they'll be asking you to conduct a couple different kinds of rhetorical criticism. All that, again, will be made clear um, as we get closer to the dates of those things. Participation um, is extra credit. Uh, and I, it's that way because... I've had really high participation grades in the in the past for folks in classes like this. And it's, you know, I eventually feel realized that there's a lot of people that don't really feel comfortable contributing on a regular basis in class. Um, and so I want you to participate very, very much in class. If you can't do that on a regular basis, then, um, you know, email me comments every once in a while in class. Say, hey, didn't want to participate in class today, but, um, and, you know, talk to me if you're a person that has trouble communicating in class um, in front of everybody, my daughter's the same way, then uh, we'll figure out how to make that work for you. But again, it's extra credit. That's the reason it's extra credit. I don't want everyone to have to do it. Okay, um, the grading system is very straightforward. It's a thousand point system. At the end of the class, I will add up all your points and divide by 10, and that will be your grade. Um, but there are these two sections of um, of extra credit. This says 100 points, but it should say 75. Hmm. By the time you read this, <laughs> it will say 75. There's 125 total points of extra credit. Wow, this is why I don't teach math. Anyway, um, there will be uh, 10 online quizzes, 100 points. There will be three homeworks, 150 points. There will be this first paper, 100 points, a midterm exam that's 200 points, a text analysis paper that's 150 points, a final exam that's 300. So it's pretty well distributed over a lot of opportunities for you to earn points over the course of the semester. Um, this is the grading scale. It's the specific one that I use. I've gotten very, very specific about exactly how I will grade your, 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 uh, your papers and stuff and how I will deal with your final grade. Um, so read that if you'd like. Okay, um, here is the class schedule. It's pretty easy to read. There's a date, there's the subject, and then there is what you were supposed to have read for that day. Um, so uh, on Wednesday, we're gonna talk about what rhetoric is, and that's the reading that you were supposed to have done. Now, if you go to iCollege, you'll see that all these readings are gonna be available in very, very obvious ways. Um, there will be a module called Course Readings. In that module, there will be a bunch of sub-modules that are labeled dates. So there will be a, a, a sub-module that's you know, August 23rd. Look in that and you will find the reading that you're supposed to do. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. Uh, so those are the readings you were supposed to have done for that day. On the 28th, for example, I'll have several small readings for you. Um, and uh, you know, then we'll do various chapters of different people. You can see all this stuff that's going on. I'll let you read that for yourself. Um, but that's what's going on. Now, you'll also notice that starting here, um, I'm giving you deadlines. This is when I'm going to assign your context paper. Um, the context paper is due uh, on, the thir on the 13th. So, right, like you get from almost a month from the assignment on the 20th of, of September to its due date on October 13th. 
This is when the first homework assignment is assigned. Uh, this is when the first homework assignment is due, right? It's pretty easy look at that stuff and you'll have a sense of how long you're gonna have to do the various things that I'm assigning you to do. Um, the final exam uh, is on December 11th and it's 10.45 a.m. to 1.15 uh, p.m. and Georgia State has started doing this, I hope you've noticed, where they give you exams at times that are not the regular class time. And that is true for us as well. If you show up at regular class time on the day of the final exam, it will be too late for you to take the final. And my policy is that if you show up more than 30 minutes late for the final, I won't let you take it. The midterm, if you show up late, you'll just punish yourself because you won't have enough time to complete the, the test within our, our class period. But for the final, there's way too many people that have decided that it's cool to show up an hour into the final exam and that, that wastes both my time and yours, and it also raises a bunch of problems with ethical issues in terms of whether you spent that hour, you know, figuring out from other people what was on the test, etc. I just don't want to mess with it anymore. So be there within 30 minutes, or I'm not going to let you take the test. That's it. Pretty easy stuff. I will talk to you starting on Wednesday much more extensively about this class. Um, you'll notice there's not a lot of big projects in this class. The the, the most valuable thing is the final exam, but everything else is worth a lot. So the best thing to do to do well in the course is to work consistently. I will always let you know ahead of time what's going on. Every assignment will be very have very clear instructions associated with it, um, and hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun throughout the course of the semester too. Um, this is the kind of academic work that I do professionally. I'm pretty enthusiastic about it, and uh, hopefully we'll find some interesting things to talk about in terms of different pieces of communication that we would like to analyze.